What's the dumbest thing your significant other has said or done? Current GF thought that the movie showings during the day were manatee shows. I had to explain to her that they are in fact matinee shows. Edit. Also convinced my ex-wife that the little pepper balls you grind to make pepper were the seeds from a pepperoni plant and that pepperoni wasn't actually meat and grew straight up out of the ground like an earth dick. She told me she only waxes her legs because if you shave one hair, then it splits and two grow back in its place. I asked him to plant a baby tree in the back garden. The next day I saw it and thought it looked strange. Walked up and it had been planted upside down. He thought the roots were tiny limp branches. Laughed for days. I'm a gardener and this is one of our running jokes. Whenever someone asks us whether we know how to plant something. Yeah sure, the green end goes right into the ground, right? She's not very good with words and English is her first language. I got freezer bite on my hands. Her idioms also need some work. You sound like the wolf who cried. You opened up a whole new worm. I had a kid prior to getting together with my fiancé and having a second daughter. The father of my eldest is not in the picture and my wonderful fiancé has taken her on as his own. To the point that he frequently forgets that she isn't his genetic offspring. We were at a holiday party at his parents' house. I was talking to my future sil about my eldest and her night terrors when K pops off with she gets that from my side of the family, Q really confused faces all around. His sister sat there and started questioning what other genetic diseases my eldest has magically got from Stepford. It took a few minutes before he figured it out. I love this man. We were driving through some back roads and passed a couple pastures. She saw some cows and started very excitedly trying to get my attention. Grabbing on my arm and saying babe, babe, look how fat those horses are. I have never let it go and she still doesn't think it's funny. We bought a new car. She asked me if I changed the settings to Spanish because it said back quote a jar on the dash when the door was open. As I'm in labor with our daughter, my husband asks, do you want her to have an innie or an outie belly button? Weird question, but whatever. So I tell him I don't mind either way, both are cute. And then he says yeah, but when the doctor asks, which should we pick for her? He thought when they clamp the umbilical cord, parents tell the doctor the type of belly button they prefer. He's really smart, I promise. When my wife and I started dating in the mid-1980s she knew I was a huge fan of David Letterman. She said she had a huge surprise for me as she had tickets to see a Letterman at a local venue. I was confused since David Letterman did not tour. I looked at the tickets she purchased and they were for the old 60s band The Letterman. We didn't go, but I married her 30 years this September. One time my husband called me at work, babe, you're gonna be mad, I made a mess, but don't worry I'll fix it. I didn't even ask, just sighed, because he is basically Lucy from I Love Lucy. When I got home a little bit later it was to a living room covered in grey powder, my husband completely filthy with a trash bag and broom and a super panicked look on his face. Turned out he'd decided to help around the house and wanted to clean the fireplace, he'd just decided the best way to do it would be to stand in front of it with a trash bag and use the leaf blower to blow the ashes in. Spoiler, that doesn't work. I didn't want to hurt his feelings, but I laughed my ass off, and it's still one of my favorite weird things he's done. He was probably so proud of himself up until he turned the leaf blower on. I'll answer for my wife. I had gone to Home Depot to pick up a trailer hitch ball for my truck. I didn't realize that they had different shaft sizes, and I didn't know which size I needed, so I called my wife and this conversation took place. Me, are you at the house? Huh, yeah, why? Me, can you go out to the driveway and measure the hole in the bumper of my truck? It should be either 1 slash 2 inch or 3 slash 4 inch. There's a pause. Huh, isn't your truck with you? Yes, yes it was. That was how I had gotten to Home Depot. I forgot. Here I was expecting bystanders to hear one side of an argument between a guy and his wife about the thickness and diameter of his shaft. My girlfriend in college attended my graduation and afterwards says to me, man, there were a lot of people with the name back quote lordy. Each time someone was given their degree, it was announced whether they were graduating come lord or not. My girlfriend thought America's largest family graduated from university with me that day, the lordy family, and they all looked unrelated. 
My deeply intelligent wife lost her car, like left it in a parking lot, and somehow got home on Friday. Monday morning I get a text, where's my car? She's gonna finish her medical degree next year. I've driven to and parked somewhere nearby that I usually walk to and walked home, getting a parking ticket overnight. I've actually done this more than once. My husband and I work for the same company and we sometimes couple and sometimes we don't, depending on our schedules that day. Sometimes we forget that we drove separately and couple home, then wonder where the other car is. I've also driven home and forgotten my husband at work more than once. My boyfriend as we were looking up at the beautiful night sky. Wow, there's so much we don't know about the universe. Like where the stars go during the day. Are they still there? If not, where do they go? He was dead serious. I had to explain to a friend that the sun is a star. I could tell that he didn't quite understand, so I made him watch this little bit of Father Ted. That did the trick perfectly. This is the same friend of mine who, when he needed to cram for an exam at university, decided he'd drink coffee and do an all-nighter because that's what they do on TV. He'd never made coffee before and made a cup of coffee using an entire jar of instant coffee. He spent the night puking and missed the exam. My husband and I were at Canadian Tire and they had tiny examples of tents, basically looked like they were made for Barbie dolls and the pricing for each underneath. He turned to me shocked and asked, why are these so expensive for such tiny tents? I almost died laughing. My husband had a similar brain fart at Walmart. We were shopping for baby stuff, and they had a miniature version of a nursing slash rocking chair on display. He says what's the point of that? I don't think any baby would enjoy sitting in that. Then it dawned on him. I showed her how to crack an egg by tapping it against another egg, and she thought this meant any amount of force would be absorbed by only one egg and smashed two eggs together spraying yolk everywhere. I love this method, it's the easiest, and I never get any eggshells in the bowl. Plus I like to see which egg becomes the champion of the carton. My now ex-girlfriend got a Polaroid camera for Christmas. Jokingly one day I said, does it take videos? And she very seriously said I'm sure it does, but I haven't tried that feature yet. I'm imagining instead of a photo popping out it just starts spitting out frame after frame of movie reel. She seriously thought if she took a video it would print out like a gif. As we were driving along the road we saw a horse with its head over a gate. We slowed down, she opens the window and says moo woo. And now that horse is telling all his friends about the time he was yelled at by a cow as it was driving down the road. We were sitting in a bus in the middle of heavy rush hour traffic. I'm kind of a car geek, so I spotted a mint condition 1970s classic Mustang. I just went and said look honey, a car. There were hundreds of them. I don't think she'll let me live this down. We were trying to keep the kids from whining on a long drive and had a contest to see who could find the coolest bird. My husband had just spotted a wild turkey and its babies at the side of the road and proclaimed himself winner. Then I saw hawk or something similar flying low and knew it was better, but I got so excited I just yelled bird. Now he just yells bird at me whenever he sees any bad while driving. She ate cold turkey to try and quit smoking. You're supposed to quit cold turkey, not start it. Everyone knows that. We were on a walk in a rural area with lots of farmers fields full of sheep and cows. She looks off to a field in the distance, turns around to me, and says why do they keep birds in a field? Edit, worded badly, they were actually birds in the field, but it was in fact an empty field with birds just hanging out, and she thought it was some kind of bird farm haha. <laughs> Look at all those chickens. Points at geese. My parents have an extremely ugly little dog. Like, this thing is unfortunate. A cross between a chihuahua and some sort of lesser demon. Buggy eyes, underbite, just ugly. And she picks on my dogs, so she's not my favorite. But this little creature adores my husband. One day, he came into my parents' house from work, I was already there, and ugly dog runs up to him like she just won the lottery. He scoops her up, laughing, and completely without thinking. He said, TikTok Maven, why is it that only the ugly girls like me? There was dead silence, and his expression blanched in slow motion. It was like someone looking down and realizing they had shit all over the floor. I said nothing, just got up and walked outside, the sounds of his pitiful groveling following me. Not you. I didn't mean you. 
Oh my god, I'm so sorry, I didn't. I know he meant nothing by it, but to this day my entire family gives him crap for it. He definitely paid for the forks pars, lol. Ouch. It must have been painful getting that foot surgically removed from his mouth. Once me and my SO went for a walk around a local nature reserve. On the way in we got a map given to us, so we could navigate the area. Later on the walk she is looking at the map, and says to me these maps really need a UR here on them. It took me a second to realize what she meant, so I explained that it's a handheld map, and that it wouldn't be possible. It took 4 fifths attempts before it clicked with her. I love my husband, but I have watched him empty a vacuum cleaner bag into a wire waster basket. I, on the other hand, am frequently unable to remember common words and have to resort to saying things like the box you put stuff in to make it cold. I had an ex who didn't realize that vacuum cleaners had to be emptied. He genuinely thought the vacuum was broken because it was full of fluff and didn't suck anymore. The worst thing was, I believed him that it was broken because it didn't occur to me that someone could think vacuum cleaners magically made dust disappear. One time while dating my now wife, we got into a playful pinching fight while I was driving. Probably not a great idea, but we were young. She starts getting frustrated and pinching harder, but my right arm was hooked on her left arm, like when you walk together with your arms hooked in movies. She pinched herself and thought it was me. She pinched so hard she screamed and got mad. Her next reaction was what made me almost crash. She doubled down and did it again harder and screamed even louder. Somehow she didn't realize it was her arm the way we were hooked together, even though in that position I had no way to touch her. She was getting pissed because I was cracking up. Just remembering her anger then confusing always makes me laugh. My boyfriend didn't realize Apple Maps gives directions. He called me in a panic because he was lost and didn't know how to get home. I calmly told him to open maps and type in our address and it'll navigate him home. He wouldn't believe me. He insisted that Apple Maps is just a general map of your nearby area. I pleaded and pleaded with him to just try it and he refused. He eventually made it home an hour later which I then sat him down and showed him how to use Apple Maps. I once got lost on my way to a work event. Cell phones existed at the time, but Google Maps and such did not. I called my husband and said help. Where am I? Him, what do you see? Me, trees. He somehow helped me find my way. Tried to make baked potatoes in the microwave for the first time. Wrapped them in tin foil. Came to ask me why there were lightning bolts in the microwave, and why was it getting very hot. I went to reheat my tea in one of those travel mugs in the microwave at work once. It was in there sparking for a good 5 seconds before I realized what I'd done. Obligatory me and the boys watching the spoon spark in the microwave. We were driving one day and were stopped at a red light. She's looking at a sign and the following exchange occurs. Ha, huh, what a dumb name for a street. Me, ha, huh, what street? Ha, huh, bone marrow drive? Who would name a street bone marrow drive? It was a sign for a local bone marrow drive that would be taking place, not the name of the street. We still talk about it to this day. My boyfriend, now husband, and I were playing cash cab when we first started dating. For those of you who don't know the concept of this game you have to try to answer as many questions as you can in a short amount of time, so you obviously answer really fast. My question to him was what animal in Africa kills the most people a year? And he blurted out very loudly ants. I laughed so hard I was crying 11 years later we still every once in a while look at each other with a wild look in our eyes and yell ants, nothing too dumb. I have a fan with different settings labeled LMH for how fast the fan spins. She was looking at it and told me she set the fan to large. We passed by LA. Fitness and I said, oh cool there's LA. Fitness. And he said, I always thought it was La Fitnessy. Now ex-girlfriend from high school. Her power had gone out in the neighboring town. She called crying saying she had so much homework to complete. I said to drive to my house, since I still had power. She yelled at me saying how dare you attempt to get me to drive. How do you expect me to do that? My headlights won't work. It didn't last much longer after that. He picked up our friend's keys, thinking one of her keychains was a laser pointer. It was Mace. He got a nice spray to the face, and I was sitting right next to him, 
so I got a lovely dose as well. For the next 30 minutes or so the entire apartment was coughing and dying and trying to air the place out. Even our friend who was upstairs showering could feel the effects. Still love him though. Update. BF wants to clarify. He thought it was a lighter or air freshener. Not a laser still doesn't help. Is case very much lol. When me and my wife first moved in together, while we were dating, I had to change out the power cord on my dryer so that it would work in the new place. Pretty simple and common thing to do going from a 3 prong to a 4 prong power cord. Bought the new one at Walmart and was in the process of removing the old one when I hear a loud bra rap and the lights went out. I immediately asked her what happened and she responded I wanted to make sure we got the right plug so I test fit it. Thank god she was holding the insulation and not the exposed end of the wire. Two weeks later she put my skillet in the dishwasher. I cook and clean and she cuts the grass. We have our crap figured out now. Now X was at a stoplight, the light changed and he pulled forward to quickly, hitting the car in front of him. Without getting out to look, he figured there was no damage and just took off. A couple of days later he got a call from the local police who had tracked down his license plate, saying he technically left the scene of an accident. Nobody was pressing charges, but he had to go down to the police station so they could issue a citation and to give them his insurance info for the police report. He told them he'd come in after he got off work. Which he did, but not before making the brilliant decision to stop at a bar and have a few drinks first. The police smelled it on him, said they couldn't let him drive home, and kept him overnight. Wow this is a different kind of dumb. Advanced dumb. At one point I actually believed that people that stupid did so intentionally, but I've learned that's apparently not the case. Some people just really are violently moronic. He is super grossed out my periods, when I asked him what he would do if we had a daughter he replied I just won't change her diaper that time of the month. My husband asked what day is Black Friday on this year? Thursday. The look of realization on his face when I said up, oh, Friday was priceless. In high school, my girlfriend said, do you know what I just realized? There's no state that starts with the letter F. We went to school in Florida. My now ex and I were grocery shopping and she was asking where the eggs were. Me, over by the milk eggs. Oh that makes sense, since they come from the same animal me. What? X. Oh that's wrong, isn't it? She isn't dumb, and she definitely knew that was wrong immediately, but it's still the most hilarious brain fart I've ever witnessed. My BF thought that hamsters laid eggs. My girlfriend from senior year in high school said that she was going to pick up some birth control from Planet Parenthood. I said, oh, uh, don't you mean Planned Parenthood? Good thing I didn't get her purgant. On the phone trying to describe where we are to her parents, we are behind the car that's in front of us. I lost it. I was working as a giant in the woods years ago. One of the guys got on the radio because he was lost. They asked him to describe his position. He said near a tree with a rock beside it. What do you put in carrot cake to make it carrot flavored? Is it carrot zest? I've never let him live it down. My daughter got it in her head she absolutely loved carrot cake even though she's never had it. We went to dinner a few months back and got a piece and she was so excited she started digging in. She looked at my husband and I in horror, and I was like, yeah, it has carrots in it. What did you expect? She was effing pissed, but it was hilarious. She genuinely threw Barack Obama's name was back quote Black Obama. I dated a dum dum who thought he was uncircumcised because he still had the head. He thought the uncut guys he saw in the public showers were cut because you couldn't see the head, so that meant it had been cut off. The same dude thought that the labia majora stayed fused if the girl was a virgin and sort of looked like Barbie Vag. If the inner lips peeked through that meant she'd had sex before because that slit was now open. He was in his 20s. And a definite regret on my part. I've been trying to teach him how to cook. His mom did basically everything for him and his brother up into their late 20s. So far he's done alright with spaghetti, although he has to check with me every step of the way, but if he's required to actually cut any sort of meat himself it's a total loss. One night we were making dinner, and it required cutting some chicken breasts. I handed him the knife, stepped away from the cutting board, and watched him press the blade down on the chicken gently. No slicing. No real movement of the knife at all, actually. 
he just looked up at me helplessly, like the chicken wasn't just parting neatly, and he had no idea what to do about it. His idea of stirring something also includes sloshing great waves of it up over the sides of whatever container it's in. Although he is blown away by my ability to whisk eggs and not make a mess, so it's kind of nice in some ways. This is a guy who is, in all other areas of life, one of the smartest people I know. He's just completely helpless with food. For some reason, when she's done watching a video she doesn't pause it or close out of the window, she just shuts her laptop. This has twice resulted in her scandalizing a quiet lecture hall with the sound of porn resuming at full volume. And she gets off on some wacky stuff. What's the dumbest thing your partner ever said? Leave a comment below. Remember to like and subscribe to Dolls.